I'm here in Columbus, Ohio, where more than 350 public safety professionals have gathered to fight for workers across the country at AFSCME's biennial public safety conference. From cutbacks that endanger the public and threaten benefits to the outsourcing of prisons for profit, public safety workers are fighting back. One of the exciting things here is to come and get training. A lot of departments now aren't offering training. I'm in a gym with usually about 300 inmates. They've take, recently cut, did cuts, which has taken this correctional officer out of our gym. So a lot of times it'll be 300 inmates in this gymnasium with just me. There's instances where you have to give CPR to a 14 year old kid and you're thinking, gosh, this could be my kid. Or, you know, you have a three year old child that's being abused and you know, um, it, it, uh, it hurts. This year, the Law Enforcement Officer of the Year Award was presented to the entire Newtown Police Union, Local 3153, which responded to the mass shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School last December. The one positive we can take out of that incident is that the shooter killed himself when my officer showed up and he died with 180 rounds in his pockets. And there were a good 200 kids still in that school. So while it is a terrible tragedy that 20 students were killed and six adults, there are 180 that were not killed. The Lucasville Correctional Facility was honored with the ACU Officer of the Year Award in recognition of its role in a deadly riot at the facility 20 years ago that claimed the life of Ohio OCSEA member Robert Vallandingham. In the past three years, due to privatization and cutbacks, we've lost 60 jobs. And what irritates me the most, we paid for those jobs with blood. And now we want them back. Yes. Yes. At the Congress, participants took time to honor their fallen brothers and sisters. AFSCME President Lee Saunders announced a $100,000 contribution to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial. Despite the challenges now facing law enforcement and corrections officers, AFSCME members remain focused on serving the public, fighting for fair pay and benefits, and improving their working conditions, from Puerto Rico to Hawaii. Strong emphasis is also being placed on organizing new members. The rights that we desire and that we need so we can go into work every day and do a good job and, and ensure some financial stability for our family, it won't happen if people don't come together and fight for the same thing. Each and every AFSCME member needs to come together to be able to fight corporate-backed politicians. Corporate-backed politicians don't have our best interests at heart. They don't have anybody interested in heart but their own. What I can do with my union and my brothers and sisters fighting together is take these guys head on and win this government back for the people. For AFSCME TV, I'm Patrick Moran.